la, 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 la posizione
Si muere. Maritere, no te tapes la cara. Maritere, no te tapes la cara. Es Maritere, aunque se quiera esconder. Maritere. Ahora del otro ángulo del Curan. Me estás retratando así. No. No voy a ir a echar con que Curan. 14 pesos. Oye, mi pana, repite después de mí, sobaco. Qué desagradable, ¿verdad? Sobre todo cuando apesta a pitón de puerca. Que más como yo, usa el desodorante Bean Van, especialmente formulado para nuestro clima tropical. Si te dan vergüenza esas manchas de media luna bajo el brazo, o si notas que cuando alzas la mano alguien sale y pregunta, ¿dónde está la punera? Ese es el momento para usar Bean Van. Desodorante Bean Van. En su fórmula regular o la nueva Antizarro. Well, give Inside that one to Solaire. Out. That one looked like it was going to go down 14 13. Solaire got a piece of it. To Bolin on serve at 13. Thirteen Chillingworth on serve. Another great pass. Oh, uh, big free ball. Relax. Big swing. He is definitely turning up the heat.
Dave Zub in now for Mike Tremolin. In the back row, Collins on serve, 13 apiece. Great serve. Oh, uh, once again, Kepa just turned too much outside. He's usually an excellent blocker. Harris, a tough serve. Lauer with the... Made a pretty good teacher finding the corner. Made famous by uh, Loy Ball was the pineapple. He pushed that set all the way in the back of the court on the other side and uh, really hard to dig. It's a play you're seeing now uh, all the time at the international level. It's really a play that Lauer had to make. He was pinned at the net, had nowhere to go with it. Just pushed it deep in the corner. Oh, what a dig! Getting it up in the back row and Lauer converting at the net. Overpass oh! and puts it down. He puts it straight down. We're going to call that straight down. And Todd Rogers is disputing the call. The point stands, however, and we're going to four. So IPFW comes back. I think that was more of an embarrassment argument. Three straight points, though, to win Ooh. game three, 15-13. We'll be back with game four right after this. Welcome back here to the Macedon. We're going to do a quick interview with the lady that's selling all the little goodies we've got down there. Her name, her, her name is Kathy Kopp. Hi, I'm here with Kathy. She's uh, the sou official souvenir lady, which is sponsored by the Royal Dons. Uh, Kathy, what do you have for sale here? Oh, we have T-shirts. Oh. And we how much? How much do one of these T-shirts cost? These are twelve fifty. And we also have. Um, Sweatshirts, which you can order, and the warm-up, and jackets. We also see some nifty uh, shorts there. Oh, yeah. Now, you're here at all the home matches, is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. Are you enjoying the game tonight? Yeah. Do you think IPFW is going to pull it out? I hope they do. Well, thanks a lot, Kathy. We're going we're, we're to get back to some more action. Everyone come on down and buy everything that we have for sale. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> thanks a lot. Okay, testimonial by Kathy Culp. Oh yeah, she was a great defensive player. She uh, grad well, she graduated. She was a senior 
on our team, so she won't be coming back next year. And we're definitely going to miss her defensive skills. She really led the team with her defense, especially in the in the final games that we had. Yeah, the crowd up, still buzzing a little bit on the stands. That was an unexpected turn because it's 13-13 at one point. Looked like it was going to be 14-13, but Solaire dug one up, running backwards. Just the knuckler got it up, and Lauer converted on it. Got it over the net for a side out, and then all of a sudden it's 15-13. Oh, yeah. A lot straight down on an overpass. Oh, with that spectacular dig by Dave Zub, as you see Coach Ball batting him. Uh, he definitely deserved a bat on the back for that one. So Zub is out of the lineup. He's really a defensive specialist and put the offense back in the mix. Collins back in the game. Luna has played the entire way, has done a great job passing tonight. Santa Barbara has tried to work him over, break him down. They haven't really done it. IPFW Lauer will serve it up for game four. Stats we have updated now through game three. Santa Barbara is still hitting a respectable 361. IPFW 315. 24 kills for Ricardo Soler, but Donnie Harris 31. 55 swings, though. His arm has got to be beginning to come unglued a bit. Argument going for? on around there. Let's listen and see if we can find out what's going on. Okay, uh, now Coach Ken Preston right heading card. over to the up official. See if we can get a piece of the audio. Obviously, uh, we're not going to be able to see what's going on down there. Obviously, some kind of argument going on between uh, Santa Barbara's coach and the officials. Not quite sure what that is. Well, I think maybe uh, Todd Rogers protested a little bit too much afterwards. Uh, game point number three. Try and get that sorted out as we can. It's already one nothing for IPFW, so they put a point on the board today for IPFW before starting the game. Did they do that because Rogers protested too much? Um, I'm not quite sure. Sometimes when a player protests too much, yells, they give him a yellow card and then a red card. And um, most everybody knows that if you get a card, that means, hey, you better you know, cool your jets, don't be screaming so much, just play the game. A good player doesn't need to argue like he was doing. Okay, so Rogers gets an assist for IPFW. It's 2 nothing already. Solaire. Still oh, up. He says, thank you. Velasco, he's getting dental work and uh, facial surgery, a little plastic surgery done tonight, courtesy of Ricardo Solaire. Ricky is just doing an excellent job tonight, both passing, picking up digs and hitting, just everything. He's an all-around great player. Reese on top of that one. And side out, Santa Barbara. Harris back to serve. 0-3, and he has six service errors. He's got 31 kills, though, but six service errors. That one's a good one, though. That was off, off of Scott Lauer's, the side of his head, I believe. He's back row. That would have been a good block, but, you know, <laughs> it was back blow. Oh, my. Oh. Collins and Luna waiting for it. Collins thought he was going to get a set from Luna. That should have been what was what happened. Uh, Justin should have said that. There should have been no question. Harris, three straight serves in a row. Oh, uh, Noodle puts it away. The big fish in the middle. The Bassmaster. 3-2. Solaire on serve. Back set Collins. Oh, off the block. He definitely uh, has a great nickname. Uh, they call him Craig the Spider Collins. Uh, he definitely looks like a spider when he hits. I've heard different variations on that. I guess it's to refer to his leaping ability, but Reese goes right over it. Oh my, he put that straight down. 
Allen, 6'6", he's a senior out of Detroit. Played a little club volleyball before he came to IPFW, but he was pretty raw, too, uh, when he first started out. Had a lot of playing time as a sophomore. Collins. Oh, we got that second again. Still up, Harris got it up, and now a chance for IPFW. Oh, the quick middle. Oh, Noodle, he just put it away. No questions asked. He says, questions, I've answered it. The red snapper. The Basomatic. How do, how do you expect me to top that one? Coach Ball likes it too. Okay, side out. Rogers on serve. Basomatic. Okay. Solaire rejected. Double block, Trey He. It's a little low for a back hit. And from Rhinestone Cowboy to GQ tonight for Coach Ball. Missed it last night, Penn State. He came out uh, during the media luncheon on Friday, Coach Kim Pavlik for Penn State. Um, well, I don't know. I wouldn't say he was cracking on Coach Ball's tie, but it did have a lot of rhinestones and studs and all sorts of jewelry embedded in it. So uh, Coach Ball said, well, I'll just go the whole nine yards, put a hat on cowboy boots, and came out for game one and kicked back. And now Rogers underneath the net. Did he flip an ankle? No, he seems all right. The floor is a little, it looks like it's a little bit slippery. I, I'm not sure if he slid, tripped, or what. Now Morgan Chapman coming out. He's had trouble with his swing. Kind of a stocky looking fellow. Oh, you're talking about number four. That's Darren Corbett. First time we've seen him in tonight. He's an outside hitter. He's a senior. There's Velasco again. Well, this team, obviously Santa Barbara is Probably play, they, they must have played better because they're not a number three team in the nation the way they're playing tonight. But they're still hanging around and doing what they need to do. They probably should have played a little harder in game three. I thought they had control of that one late. Seem to be going through it. They're going to get their money worth, uh, money's worth tonight. Match approaching now uh, 230. Once this game ends, two hours, 30 minutes. Luna on serve at 5-3. Overpass. Brought back by Rogers. Sailed outside. Trey, he misses long, so 6-3. And Luna. Harris is getting a lot of swings. He's not really swinging hard or putting the ball down with a lot of authority, but he seems to find the floor a lot. And then there's another thing. He's just going baseline, or end line, rather. Lauer digging it up. Tremolin can't dump it over. Somebody should have helped him on that. It's a long way for the setter to travel. Someone should have picked that up. Tough serve. Oh, a great block. And Harris off of Rolot. 5-6, Santa Barbara making a little run, 2 nothing, and Coach Ball a timeout. Here's the ebb and flow again for IPFW. When they're not getting the ball at the net, getting a fingertip on it, they seem to just go in a shell. I think they need to have Somebody step up the net for a lot that time, a little too wide at the net. We'll take a timeout right now and be back right after this. More game four action.
Okay, we just had a put down by Collins. And back to action, still the same score, 6-5, or a lot on serve. And put your seatbelts on for sure. This one <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> ugly. Don't know where that woo, hit. Carter Reese, a little shaken up. There's Coach Ball. 7-5, Rolot on serve. Velasco, good pass. Right back to him. Back. serve at 7-5. Oh, so close. Shoot set once again, IPFW. Santa Barbara finding a seam in between the block. You want to set that block up no, no uh, wider than a ball uh, between the, whatever. <laughs> you don't want to let their hands or their arms get wider apart than the ball. A lot of times, a lot of middle blockers don't get up there high enough, reach up, reach to block that ball, and, and in that case, they make a hole, and um, it's really hard to dig. Harris on serve, and another service error for Harris. Seven six. Nice stick by Scott Lauer. Oh. Once again, a lot of not effective from the back row. He's starting to fall asleep again. Tough pass. Lauer chases it down, comes oh. right back to Luna. That was about his only choice. Definitely. Great swing. Noodle back to serve. Oh, that one took a dive. Great serve by oh, Tremolin. Definitely. Great floater serve. Alasco holding his right arm as he got up. Might have uh, popped the elbow out a little bit. Got that ball away from him and uh, got his arm underneath his body, rolling, trying to get to it. Kill by Rogers. He's a tough player, a really tough player. For someone to be able to set the ball, turn, and hit the ball. In, in three plays, that's great. He has one dink kill, and he has six other swinging kills in 11 attempts. Back set. Ooh, nice pancake. Oh, but put away. Torbett with a kill. Darren Torbett came in in game four. He stuck around the whole way. In for Morgan Chapman. Chapman had trouble uh, middle of game three on his follow through, hit Robert Trahey. Sore wrist maybe for Chapman. Seven, eight. Great swing. Tooled that block once again. And now Collins on serve at eight, seven. Should have taken that that hole right there in the block. Justin should have taken short. A little miscommunication. Torben on serve at 7-8. Luna on the pass. Oh. 
Collins did miss line, so it's Ada Peach now. And the one time they have broken Luna down, Luna has been very consistent tonight. Hasn't seen Torbett serve that much, though. There we go. Once again, the timing just not there on the middle with Rolot and Lauer. Oh, oh my. my. He was right there. All he had to do was pop that up. And Will Hoyt will come in for Collins. That's a mental error, not a physical one. 10-8, Santa Barbara on serve. They will pass three. Justin Luna bringing it back with the swing. But they're going to call net violation on Santa Barbara. Trady. They're having a lot of problems with that tonight. Well, they just made a lot of errors. And it could be due to the fact they maybe are a little tired, haven't played in a couple weeks, what have you. But they are not the number three team in the nation as they are ranked. That one missing. No, catching line. OK. Very, Trady. very close. But yes, it did catch a line. Trahey with a kill will go back to serve at 10-8. But IPFW has played much better tonight as well, too. Probably one of their strongest outings of the year. Even though they played Ball State in five on Wednesday, they did not play very well. Both teams hitting under 200. Their attack percentage. Oh, mental error. And it worked for IPFW. Well, Torbett came in. Well, Morgan Chapman, he's going to go back there and pass the ball. And Preston with a timeout, his team up 10-9. It's going to have the floor. Becky Mark standing by with a, another interview. Take away, Becky. Hi, I'm standing here with Michelle, an IPFW host. And Michelle, what exactly does an IPFW hostess do? Um, at the games, I take, make sure the teams know where they're supposed to go, get them refreshments, make sure the officials get paid, just, I'm basically the hospitality person. How, how did you get this, uh, get to do this type of work? Pardon me? How did you get to do this type of work? Oh, um, well, I, when I applied for the job here, that my boss, Jim Wilkinson, that's what he told me that I would be doing at the games. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun. We're going to go back to the action now. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. A lot on serve at 9-10. Crowd still hanging around to see how this one turns out. Rolot, did he catch Harris on the way down? He didn't. So Santa Barbara with the side out. Just enough. Solaire coming out of Taking nowhere. It. Out of bounds. Once again, Solaire coming out of nowhere with a play. Looked like this one was just going to be dumped back over, but Solaire got a swing on it. Pretty effective. And then Harris missing wide. Very smart play on Ricky's part. Tough serve by Lauer. Harris blocked. Out of bounds. Termolin, when he is getting there, he's getting there late, and his body is at an angle. His hands and his arms are straight up with his body angle. And the ball is going out of bounds. Will Hoyt left handed. Tough set. Another shot behind him, and Will Hoyt can't adjust to it. The reason that he couldn't adjust. He watched the ball, was staying there, watching it, instead of getting outside, ready to be ready to be set again. He was caught. And Harris has turned down the volume on his service errors. Dink, Solaire gets it. Now Lauer the reset. Tough play for Relot. Dug up by Trahey. Harris. Oh, oh. Such a nice dig. And Will Hoyt out. Will Hoyt was into the net. Collins back in. It's 12-9. And this one could wrap up very quickly. Harris on serve. He's tough. He's going right at Luna. 
Well, maybe not. Another nice pass. <laughs> There by Felipe Rela. That was a quick swing. Harris is approaching 70 attempts tonight. A couple attempts. Off the block outside. Tough play. 12 9. Reese on serve. Luna. Ooh, having a bit of a trouble. You sit now. Termola in the middle. Dug up nicely, and Trey, he converts. Noodle has got to be quicker. It's very, I mean, he could be getting fatigued right now, but he's got he's to really push it right now, especially with the score 13-9. 13-9, last time out for IPFW in game four. It's got to be a little bit disappointing for the coaching staff to have a team play so well in spots and then just sort of disappear. They're not finding that happy medium that a lot of good teams seem to have. You'll have your bad moments, but you've got to find some kind of, of place where everybody's going to play good, and if someone plays bad, someone else has to pick up the pieces for them. The guy who's been really consistent tonight has been Solaire. And We'll probably have a chance, see if we can chat with him afterwards. He's been consistent tonight. You would think Lauer will be looking to him first if he has the opportunity. Then he tried to Mullen just a little bit ago. Maybe you go back to Rilat. He's been having a little trouble, though. He's in the back row, and he's been having a little trouble back there. Again, the timing off. Rilat just has to dump it over. Harris. Oh. Tremolin and Luna combining. Now Tremolin comes out and Zub behind the service line. And uh, Dave Zub dug one up. 13 13. That's really smart for Coach Ball to sub in someone for him back row. Even though Noodle's a great back row player, he needs the rest. Zub almost covering up there off the block. Solaire couldn't read it. And a side out for Santa Barbara. Torbett there with the kill. Solaire off the oh, fingertips. Great play. He hit that high just enough to get that a side out. Now Lauer's got a good rotation for transition. Luna, a lot in the front row. Collins, Solaire in the back. Zub digs one up, but can't pop it straight up. Collins into the stands to chase it down. Craig, you don't have to pay for those seats. You can right there. That's fine. 13-9. Santa Barbara. Lollipop serve. Oh, just an excellent play. We talked about that earlier. He's coming. He's in front of him. Scott's behind him. But he set that perfect set. Both hey. times he's got a kill off of it. Papa up early for that, waiting for it. Beat the middle block. 9-13, Luna. Good serve. Oh, nice block. Solaire and a lift called. Double hit, lift, take your choice, Torbett. Big break for IPFW. They needed to get to that 10 point. Overpass. Oh. Ooh, a little breakdown there. Velasco takes it at the last moment. Now Lauer can't set it. Solaire sets Lauer. Two-man block. He didn't catch fingertips. Smart play by Lauer. That's all he could do with it. And substitution now for Santa Barbara. Adam Renfrey, when he came in last time, he had a couple points right off the bat. 
on his serve. Rolot straight down by Reese. Ooh, Big block. Little talking going back and forth. And this one is for match point. Rent free to serve it out, or at least attempt to. 14 11. Solaire off the fingertips. Torbett up with it. Harris still alive. Oh, oh Lauer dumps it over. Mistake. Zub up with it. Solaire. Oh, no one was up. No one was up to block that. We're and gonna call the game. Alaska closes it out. 15-11 in the third. So 17-15, 15-12, 13-15, 15-11. It's a long match tonight, about two hours and 30 minutes. IPFW playing well. Probably the best they played all year, but they've still had those spots where they just disappeared at times. Santa Barbara hanging around long enough to take advantage. Donnie Harris probably had near 40 kills for Santa Barbara. Ricardo Soler leading IPFW with the neighborhood of 30 kills. Let's see if we can chat with him after the game, right after this timeout. Welcome back. Just going to do the final wrappings on this one. You, uh, University of California in Santa Barbara winning tonight in four over IPFW. The score is on your screen, 17-15, 15-12, 13-15, 15, and 15-11. The all-tournament team just announced Ricardo Soler made that team. We'll talk to him in a moment. But first of all, we at IPFW are pleased to bring you Cable cast of NCAA athletic competition. We hope you've enjoyed the show and the excitement of intercollegiate sports from IPFW. To provide such programs, we need your support. With the help of many volunteers, we are able to produce these programs at a relatively low cost. Your contribution up to defray uh, the production costs not covered by the Channel 6 budget. College Cable Access Center invites you to invest in quality college programming. Send your contributions there on your screen. Channel 6 at IPFW, 2101 Coliseum Boulevard, East Fort Wayne, Indiana, 46805. Designated for Indiana Purdue Foundation at Fort Wayne College Access Athletics. Swing down to the floor, Tiffany Martin standing by with Ricardo Soler. 
here with Ricky Soler, an excellent player here at IPFW. He's done just about everything tonight for uh, IPFW, but it was a tough loss. And, and Ricky, congratulations on a well-played game, but what could have your team done a little differently to help you win, win this match? Well, we think that every time we're playing every California team, they play better defense than us, and we just have to play defense and block a lot of balls. And we, we're not playing very consistent, you know, we're just like not playing hard every time. We just need to play hard and be ready for the MIBA. That's what counts. Do you think that the blocking night had any influence on, on how your defense was played at all? Because I know your blocking wasn't there at times, especially in the middle. Yeah, the middle were up and down. Sometimes we're blocking well, sometimes we're not. And I don't know, we just need to play more defense and that's on practice. We just have to work hard. Well, congratulations on a well-played game. It seems that you've taken a leadership role here. You do everything so well on the court and you're a pleasure to watch. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. We're going to send it back on up to Paul for game highlights. All right, thank you very much, Tiffany. Uh, Ricardo Soler unofficially have him 31 kills tonight. Dandy Don player of the game. He touched on it, though. IPFW looking ahead. The MIBA conference tournament. That's what they have to shoot for now. They are 9 and 14 on the season. Really, this loss doesn't hurt them all that much in national reputation. Santa Barbara coming in here third in the nation. It was just a question tonight of IPFW in the middle. Not enough block there. They got beat on the outside when they had to go on single coverage. Felipe Rolot signing autographs. And we'd also like to take this time to thank fans and volunteers at Channel 6 and the crew at the Learning Resource Center for their contributions to this live production of our volleyball Ball match this evening. The telecast of this IPFW sports event is copyrighted and is the sole property of the College Cable Access Center and IPFW. Unauthorized duplication, exhibition, retransmission, rebroadcast, or any use of this event without express written consent is strictly prohibited. Channel 6, Friday evening, April 7, 7.30, NCAA Volleyball Action, MIVA. Lewis University and here to take on the Volley Dons for Tiffany Martin. This is Paul Farbaugh. Have a very good evening.
Chris Madelong, along with Felipe Rallad, calling the action of tonight's men's MIV, actually it's not MIVA paper, it's NCAA volleyball match between Rutgers Newark and IPFW. Again, Matt DeLong here with former IPFW All-American. And uh, actually, you, you stand out in quite a few categories there, Pepe. Felipe Rallat joining me. Thanks for joining us here tonight. Right, thank you, Matt. Uh, thank you, everybody who's watching. Uh, tonight, we're going to have a great match. I mean, uh, these two teams played last weekend. Uh, Rutgers won, but uh, we started with Justin setting. I mean, yeah. we, tonight, we have a same lineup for two, two games in a row.